technology is expanding quickly from artificial intelligence to even potential cloning. National correspondent Chris Stewart explains how cloning pets could make that a reality. This is Tinkerbell. Come with me to celebrate my 11th birthday at the Plaza Hotel. She's a celebrity on social media. I am the cute one. But to her owner and manager, Sam Carroll, she's more than a business partner. We're inseparable. And I love her immensely and would do anything for her. And that's why in 2018, Carol had a veterinarian take a small skin sample from Tinkerbell's thigh and sent it to a Texas company called Viagen. There, Tinkerbell's DNA is now stored with the goal of cloning her in the future if Carol so chooses. Just knowing it's there, if I ever want to have her cloned, it's just reassuring, especially at her celebrity status level. At $50,000 per dog or cat, cloning your pet with Viagen may not be cheap, but pet owners who have opted for the procedure include Barbara Streisand, who cloned her beloved Samantha, a Coton de Tulier, and Simon Cowell. Since Scottish scientists cloned Dolly the sheep in 1996, researchers have cloned at least 22 species. So there are thousands of uh, house pets that have been cloned. There are also super sniffer dogs in airports who are uh, genetically very able to sniff out drugs or whatever it is police want to find. We've been able to clone those kinds of animals. We've been able to clone uh, species that are endangered in some way of extinction. Here's how the process works. The best way to describe cloning is actually an identical twin born at a later date. What we need in order to clone the pet is a living cell from the pet's body. The pet owner's veterinarian would use our biopsy kit to take a few small skin punch biopsies from the pet. They're four millimeter in size. Then the process shifts to the lab. We've been able to improve the techniques to a considerable degree. We take the nucleus of the animal that we want to clone, the super sniffer dog, for instance, and we put it inside the egg of another dog. And we then take this uh, embryo and we put it in a Petri dish for a few days under heat. And it goes from one cell to two cells, to four cells, to eight, to 16, to 32, to 64, and eventually would become an animal. Hopefully at this point, actually, we have not just one, but we've made several of these. And we take several of them and we implant them into the womb of an animal. With luck, the baby animal will survive to birth a genetic clone. Viagen also clones cats like Belle, known on Instagram as Clone Kitty, and horses too. The original Rico Suave is a show pony and he's won a lot of prize money out there. Dr. Lindsay Butzer is a veterinarian and YouTuber in Florida. Her family, which owns Rico Suave on a horse farm, decided to have him cloned in 2019. He's doing great. People that have leased uh, the original Rico have met the clone, and they say he looks at them the same way. Animal rights groups oppose cloning pets. We may need to take 10 of these embryos uh, from the Petri dish and implant them into a dog uh, and to get maybe uh, two of them leading to a pregnancy. Or we may need to take 10 of these embryos and implant them into 10 dogs. Only three will end up delivering a live birth. And unfortunately, the odds are that at least one of the uh, animals that are born will have severe abnormalities. They may seem great, gee, I now have an identical clone of Fido, but we've actually led to the death of one or two dogs, and we've had to make several dogs pregnant who end up not delivering a dog at all. And pregnancy is stressful for animals, just like it is for many humans. Asked by Scripps News, Viagen wouldn't share the success rate of their process. We will usually have a puppy or kitten born within two or three embryo transfers. So it's very rare that it takes a, a lot of attempts to, to be successful. Another problem with cloning pets is that instead of cloning a pet, one could instead 
adopt an animal in a shelter who needs a loving home. For some pet owners, however, the love they have for their animals clearly outweighs any ethical concerns. If someone wants to clone their pet, I'm all for it. It's a new chapter in our ever-evolving relationship with the animals we love. Chris Stewart, Scripps News.